I'm Jean-Michel Pilk, I'm a jazz pianist and composer and improviser. The improvisation project is based on the idea that a group of musicians can get together with absolutely no paper, no written music, and start playing, improvising, interacting with each other, and create music that, when successful of course, sounds like it's been written. I love the idea that improvisation can generate music that is as rich as music that has been written beforehand. Of course it sounds maybe a little bit reckless to say that for a group of 10 musicians, but I feel like some things can happen that are really miraculous. I think this project has allowed some musicians, even those who are professional musicians, to be in a situation that they've never been before. And so when you're a musician and you are in, with this new group of people having a conversation, about a subject that you've never discussed before. You learn something. You become somebody different. It enriches you and it triggers some things in your brain. It's making me more complete. It makes me a different person. And you don't read when you have a conversation. You're just reacting. And I think that's another thing. This project is based upon reacting. How do you react to the way other musicians play? How do you react to what's going on around you? In real life, it's, it's about that all the time. You spend your time improvising. Life is an improvisation. Great art mimics life. paintings, when you look at great sculptures, all those works of art, they contain what life contains in terms of emotions, in terms of feelings. To me, improvisation is one of the most remarkable art form in that sense because it's really, really similar to life. I'm going to go in the street in like 10 minutes. I don't know what's going to happen. I might suddenly meet somebody I know. I might have an accident, go to bed, I might catch a cold, I might see something unusual, etc. I, I don't know what's going to happen. And to me, art, and especially music, when they are too controlled, they lose some of that life quality. When people hear great music, they feel like very strong emotions, and you don't have to be an expert for that. I think it's actually better when they're not. My wish is that I hope somebody listening to the music that we're making in this project could relate to it on an emotional level. Could feel, oh, this is touching me. Emotionally, I feel something that has something to do with my own life. I've met people after my concert sometime who told me, you put everything about you in the music. I hope this project will be about that, will be about musicians putting their life in the music and the music gets into the life of somebody else
I don't expect anything particular from the musicians I'm playing with in the project because I, I don't believe in expectations in music. It's like in life. When you have too many expectations, the expectations tend to replace the reality, if I may, if I may say. I just expect that musician to be himself or herself, to love music, to be fearless. to forgive themselves or others when it doesn't go right, because sometimes it goes wrong. To feel perfectly equal to all the other musicians in the project. You know, we make students, professionals, older, younger. I don't want anybody to feel like there is a hierarchy of any kind. We're all equal. I expect a musician in the project to be in it like in life. Not for reasons that are, I would say, incidental. I expect a musician to be in the project like, I want to live, I want to play.